Jackie, you are here and we're talking about hummingbirds. It's one of the most watched red stories on our website. Why do you think there is, first of all, a fascination when it comes to the hummingbird? Well, hummingbirds are beautiful and um, not everybody sees them all that often. So when you see them in your garden, like the first time you see one in your garden, you think, oh my God, what is that big bug? But then you realize <laughs> it has, it's a beautiful bird. And um, you know, hummingbirds, you can attract them to your garden just like you can attract bees to your garden, right? So hummingbirds, you wanna have flowers where, that are brightly colored and, and flowers that are tube shaped because if you think about their nose being that oh. long needle, they want to go into something, right? So fuchsia, we have pictures behind us of fuchsia they love, daylilies they love, honeysuckle they love. They also need a place where it's going to be safe for them to hover, mm. right? So if you've got a dog running around barking or a kitty cat or whatever, they want a place that so often they'll be in your flower bed where it's very crowded too because they can safely hover for a long time. But hummingbirds need to eat like tons of food mm -hmm. because they expend so much energy from all that flapping. <laughs> so so it, once one finds your garden, if you've got the right kind of flowers, um, they'll keep coming back. And there's tons of flowers. There's lots of flowers um, that they like. Uh, zinnias. Um, zinnias, really? Zinnias, right. Yeah. I mean, simple, that. you know, lantana, Rose of Sharon. We're getting ready. Rose of Sharon are yep. going to bloom pretty soon. And a lot of people have those. Rose of Sharon they like. There's really lots of flowers that they like. So they're not super particular. Um, uh, Columbine, bee balm, foxglove. Wow. Those are some more that they like. This is what people need to know. That's what we enjoy, especially this time of year when you're getting ready for your garden. You don't know what to plant. But when you think about hummingbirds, like what can attract them? What about these feeders and, you know, when you have a lot of water around? Um, you know, the feeders work, but, but the downside of a feeder sometimes is that a, a feeder, be, you know, because stuff might spill out of it, then you might get a problem with things that you don't want, yeah. like mice or rats oh, or okay. other things, right? Because now you've got the, this wonderful thing on the ground that everybody wants to eat, you know, because it's sweet. Yeah. And um, uh, the water on the ground, you know, it's not going to bother them that much. Uh, it's not going to attract them either. You know, it's interesting though what you said. If there's a lot of noise, that's going right. to detract them. Right? Yes, they're not they, going to want to come around. Right, they want to feel safe because they are. They're going to hover there for a little while. That's mm -hmm. the thing. That's uh, one of the trademarks of the hummingbird is that they can hover. You know, like a helicopter. Mm -hmm. Not a, n think about it. There's not tons of birds that just sit there and hover while they're feeding. Right. They're always moving. So the hummingbird just sticks its nose into that fuchsia and will sit there for three or four. That's why people can get like these photos. People can get really great photos of hummingbirds because they're going to sit there for a little while. They will. They will. And they are absolutely so beautiful. And it's nice to know that they're right here in Western New York. Yes, we've always had them. We hopefully we will continue to always have them. Plant a little clump of flowers that they like and, and put it in a little protected yeah. area of your garden bed and hopefully you'll get, and once the hummingbird finds you, they'll find you every year. I've, I found, it's been my experience that once they know it's there, they'll keep coming back. If Jackie Albarella <laughs> says it, then it must be true. She is our gardening expert. Thank you so much for joining us on WGRZ.com. Great being here.